Yo guys, what's up? So today we're gonna talk about how to lose that stubborn belly fat in 30 days. Okay, so let's get right into this. Belly fat is comprised of two things. The first one we wanna look at is the subcutaneous layer of fat. The second one is the visceral layer of fat. The subcutaneous layer of fat is the layer of fat directly under our skin. You can pinch it. The visceral fat is the layer of fat that surrounds our organs within our abdomen. It's important to understand why we should focus on losing belly fat other than reasons of looks or aesthetics. High levels of excess belly fat can lead to certain diseases such as heart disease, specific cancers, and metabolic diseases. It's important to note, just like muscle cells, once we're in our adulthood, we don't actually create new fat cells or muscle cells. We just grow or shrink the ones we already have. So the first thing we want to do is create a caloric deficit. And the way we do that is through either diet or exercise. And I know you probably heard that a thousand times, but I'm going to try to simplify this for y'all to make this the easiest way to understand possible. Let's create some guidelines over the next 30 days. So over the next four weeks, you should exercise at least three to five times per week. Three to five times per week. Consistently, no cutting days, three to five times, not two days, not one day. Exercising at least three times per week ensures that we're building off in each and every exercise. In addition, we should focus on a rep range of 15 to 20 reps per set. This conditions the muscles as well as the tendons and joints to prevent injury. Then later on down the line, we can work on to working up to bigger weights for building more muscle. So secondly, when we talk about diet, I more so want to talk about changing our eating habits. Personally, when I work with clients, I like to start small, let's figure out what we can do and work from there. Believing that you can change your diet 100% is one hard to adhere to and extremely difficult to do that's why using a start small and building up approach works a little bit easier for changing our habits some things you want to stay away from to avoid adding on more belly fat would be well the first one would be alcohol the second would be any type of trans fats and the third one would be any sweets cookies cakes those type of things I want to keep this video real brief. At the end, I'm going to attach a link for a food list and a workout plan to help you lose that stubborn belly fat. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I got more coming for you soon.